Hello, I'm Dr. Savan Hilo, the head of male infertility at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. One of the most important steps in the workup of male infertility is a semen analysis. There are many numbers in a semen analysis report. In this video, you'll learn which numbers are important and what they mean. We'll start with a few key points that you should know. First, the results of a semen analysis can change from one test to another. You should have a second semen analysis done if the first one is abnormal. The results can be affected by how many days it's been since you ejaculated, how long your sample was sitting in the lab, and the lab itself. You shouldn't ejaculate two to five days before doing a semen analysis. Your semen analysis should be tested within two hours of dropping off the sample. The longer your sample sits, the worse some of your numbers may look. This is especially true for your sperm motility, which is described later in the video. Not all labs are created equal. Labs that do many semen analysis have more accurate results. For this reason, you'll be asked to do at least one semen analysis using our Mayo Clinic Fertility Lab. Ejaculate volume is the amount of semen that you ejaculate. A normal amount is more than 1.5 milliliters or about a third of a teaspoon. You should tell your doctor if part of your specimen collection missed the cup. A low amount can be caused by a blockage of the tube that carries sperm from the testicles to the ejaculate which is called the vas deferens. It can also happen if you don't have seminal vesicles or have a blockage of them. These are a pair of glands located near the prostate. They produce most of the semen volume. Another cause of low semen amount can be retrograde ejaculation. This is where the sperm goes backward into the bladder instead of coming out through the penis. Lastly, the cause can be due to a hormone imbalance. Semen pH. A normal semen pH is more than 7.2. Your pH, however, can be affected by a number of environmental factors. It's therefore not a big concern if the pH is not normal. It may, however, tell your doctor to look into something further. Concentration. This is the amount of sperm in the semen. A normal amount of sperm is more than 15 million sperm per milliliter of ejaculate. A low amount of sperm can be caused by a low sperm count, or by a large amount of ejaculate. This number is important, but it doesn't affect treatment decisions. The most important value in a semen analysis is the total modal count, which we'll discuss in detail further. Motility. Sperm motility is the amount of sperm that are moving. Normal sperm motility is at least 40%. For a sperm to fertilize an egg, it has to swim up the female reproductive tract to meet the egg. The sperm needs to be able to swim to their destination. Total motility refers to any movement, while progressive motility refers to forward movement in either a line or in a large circle. Poor sperm motility can be caused by medications, smoking, obesity, diabetes, recent illness, and certain problems with nutrition. Total modal count. Total modal count is the most important number to consider on a semen analysis. It's the total number of sperm that are swimming. Not all labs report this number, but you can calculate it using the other numbers from your report. To calculate this number, multiply the volume of the ejaculate in milliliters by the sperm concentration, then take that number and multiply it by the percent motility. For example, a man with a volume of 2.5 milliliters sperm concentration of 10 million per milliliter and 50% motility would have a total modal count of 12.5 million. In general, natural conception is more likely with at least 40 million total modal sperm. Intrauterine insemination requires at least 5 million total modal sperm and in vitro fertilization may be a better option for those with a total modal sperm count less than 5 million. Morphology. Morphology refers to what sperm look like under the microscope. It's reported as the percentage of sperm that meet very strict criteria for what normal sperm should look like. Typically, only 4 to 10% of a man's sperm are normal, meaning that the vast majority don't look perfect under the microscope. Morphology is not related to the risk of birth defects. Sperm morphology is poorly understood. Scores can vary on the same semen sample in the same lab using the same scoring techniques. I typically tell patients not to worry about morphology, especially if their other numbers are normal. Interpreting a semen analysis conclusion video. 
There are several other numbers that may be reported on a semen analysis. These shouldn't cause much concern. The most important numbers we discussed is the total modal count. This is the number that best predicts the, uh, the likelihood that you'll be able to achieve a pregnancy. I hope you found this video from the Mayo Men's Health Moment series informative. If you'd like to schedule an appointment to be seen for male infertility, please fill out the online questionnaire on mayoclinic.org or contact us using the information pictured on your screen. This is Dr. Savan Hilo from the Mayo Clinic signing off. Thank you for watching.